that, ladies and gents, is a lot of tools. What is up, makers? So as you can see, I kind of splurged a bit and emptied my uh, savings account because I had this crazy idea. Um, I'm gonna start a new business. And since I'm starting a new business, I might as well document it on the channel and do some awesome projects on the way. Now there's gonna be a lot to talk about in this episode and I urge you to stick around for a chance to win a 100 pound voucher from Oosnest. This, this is my usual workspace. Uh, you probably recognize this, I used to have a lot of printers. Some of them are in there, others are upstairs, but this, this will become my new workshop. And the only tools I've ever had, well, I have my welding kit down there, I have that thingamabob, crosscut, and my homemade CNC mill. That was pretty much the gist of my tools, but I needed more, many, many more. And I'll talk about all of those very soon, but first, we need to talk about lighting, because um, we have one, and we have that one over there. That's, that's, that's not gonna do it. We need more. So we're gonna do the uh, finger trick. For those of you who don't know, finger trick is very simple. You just snap your fingers. There you go. Simple as that. Okay, Google, shut up. Perfect. Okay, so now that I have beautiful lighting in here, um, we need to talk about the plan, what I have planned for here. So the idea was that I would create a business and this started off with me purchasing the Oosnest Work CNC. That is a 1.5 by 1.5 meter version. Um, because the idea was that uh, I wanted to incorporate more things into the channel. And then like sort of, we, I started discussing with my wife, we can make a business out of this because uh, eventually I just want to be self-sustaining and not just depend on YouTube or anything that comes along with it. Now my wife has this really good eye for home decor and I'm quite handy with tools from for the most part um but i'm also you know a bit creative so i figured together we can combine our forces and start a business doing home decorations where we can sell locally internationally but yeah and then i thought might as well just incorporate that into the channel and that started like a whole domino effect of ideas and things that i wanted to buy to incorporate in the channel now you might be saying but joe you're you're a 3d maker noob you do 3d printed things yes i i have done pretty much 3D printing only for the past. And it, while I enjoyed it, I absolutely love it. I feel like I really want to do more. I've mentioned it in the past, if I'm not moving forward, I might as well be moving backwards. So today is a fresh start. And I'm here to announce that the channel is gonna go through a rebranding. We're gonna change the channel name. And I want to kind of get you guys involved in this and do a bit of a competition. I spoke to Uzenist and we've decided that I would purchase some 100 pound vouchers from them and give them away on the channel and also my Patreons. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna get you to guess what the new channel name will be. Now obviously it's gonna be not that hard to figure it out, but I'm gonna give you a few hints. And what I want you to do is, write down in the comments what you think the new channel name will be. Now this competition, we are on the 22nd of October at the moment as I record this. So I'm gonna give it till the 15th of November. We'll do sort of like four weeks-ish. So what I want you to do is leave a comment and guess the name of the channel. Now, I can tell you now, it's pretty much three words. Uh, the word make will still in part or as a whole or whichever way will be there. So you that second hint, so it's three words. One of the words or part of it is make. Uh, Joe will not be including name, newborn be including name, 3D will not be including name. But yeah, this name will represent pretty much, ah, the beauty of sub-basement garage levels. This channel name will pretty much represent everything I am and everything I've showed in the past for me as a character, not just what I do. So go ahead and start guessing. In the meantime, the plan is to convert this space right here. And space is a bit limited. I have four and a half meters in depth. I have about three and a half meters in width um, and everything in between on the height. So I need to be very creative because that is a lot of machinery. And for those wondering if how much I've spent in total, that would be 7,222 euros 
and 36 cents. Those numbers do not include VAT because I do have a VAT number so I can claim those back. Um, but yeah, everything I purchased was from Amazon Germany because it was always a lot cheaper than buying in Malta. And we'll go through opening everything. Don't worry, we'll go through it. But I will give you an idea of what's in there. Starting off is the CNC. It's going to be behemoth. It's going to take a large portion of the free space that I have, but I'm going to show you exactly what I have planned. Then we have, these are two DeWalt CNC uh, routers. Uh, the reason why I have two is because I ordered one uh, at 115 volts by mistake, but it's not a problem. Instead of refunding it, I'm just going to give it away to my Patreons. Over there, we have a Bosch Jigsaw. Just underneath it is a nail gun. Just beside that is a, um, an impact drill. Then we have another hand router over there. That's a box of accessories. So just to give you an idea what's inside, it's basically lots and lots of things. There's a blade over there. Da -da -da. That is a crucible. Come on, focus. Oh, kiss. There you go. That is a crucible. That is my miter saw. Over there is an oscillating bell sender. Um, that is a, that is an air compressor. That is a vacuum pump that goes with a vacuum chamber. This is a melting furnace. Yes, that is the shop vac. That is a hand sander. That's a hand planer. It's another sanding tool. Over there is my bandsaw. Down here is my table saw. Also, I forgot to mention when I flick my finger for the lights, my wrist is injured, so they're not calibrated properly. And aside from the lights, it also gave me a clean shave. Now, in terms of space, that's quite a lot of tools and I'd love to be able to stack them on top of each other, but you know, that's impossible. Now, this, the camera is situated about halfway through the garage because this garage is about 10 meters long. And I can show you this by turning that around. So you see, it's, it's, it's quite large. However, come back here. As you can see, there's the car and there's the motorcycle and other things which I cannot move out of the way. Um, so I can only restrict the building stuff to this half of the garage. However, um, in order to better plan this, I use my 3D printing skills. This is my garage, or this is a 110 scale replica of this garage. And I could have done this on a piece of paper. Yes, I could have done it just on a computer. Yes, but I'm gonna do it this way because it's mine. Now here I have this metal bench over here, which weighs like 200 pounds. It's something, it's one of the first benches I ever welded together. It's, it's indestructible. The world will end, but this bench will survive. Anyways, so yeah. So this will give me a nice idea of the space in three dimensions. Now to give you an idea of how big the CNC machine is, it's gonna be that big. It's massive. And, wait, hold on. Oh well. That is the CNC. So you can see that's going to take quite a lot of space, which doesn't leave a lot of room for the rest of the tools. However, I have here, I can use, I have some space here, around the corner here, and this. This is all empty space right here. So what I plan to do is, I might do a miter saw station here with lots of, lots of storage, then I'm going to do a bench. So everything is going to be on casters. Absolutely everything will be on casters. But I can make quite a large bench which sits here in the middle. And you're probably going to ask me, like, you won't have space. Right, I won't. But what I can do since it's on casters is I can just reverse the car out and just move the bench right to the back. And I have free flowing space everywhere. There are cases where I want to do revolving benches. What I mean by that is have two tools in one footprint and then have like a revolving uh, surface, which can change from one tool to the next. Uh, I've been doing a lot of research on this and I think I have figured out famous last words, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. So yes, that that is the plan. It's, it's quite an ambitious plan, but I'm very excited because this is a whole new journey for me and I'm hoping that I can diversify my content as well. I'm still gonna be making a lot of stuff. I'm still gonna be, I'm quite sure I might hurt myself at some point. I mean, Something I forgot to mention, there are two more machines which haven't arrived yet. 
Um, they're taking much longer than expected. Hopefully one of them will be here next week. The other one will be here the week after. Those two machines are a thicknesser from Metabo or Makita. Can't remember what I ordered, but the most exciting one is a wood turning lathe. Yes, I have a turning lathe coming. It's the Record Power DML320. Now, as I open these, I will tell you guys why I specifically bought the particular machine, uh, because I think it's important. I, I've never reviewed machines and I don't know if I ever will, but I'm sure a lot of you will want to do your own workshop. And if you see machines that I use here, which you like, you probably want more information. So I'll give you a bit of info on the machines as I go along. Now, in the meantime, I've been getting fancy in Fusion 360. Yes, this is the, um, these are the plans for the table, which will house the CNC. And if these work out, if the table doesn't implode or collapse on itself, I'll share this with you guys. It's not a problem, free of charge, don't worry, I'm gonna charge you, at least not just yet. But yeah, we'll see. Um, but yes, for now, that is gonna be it as an intro to all this, because in, next because in the next episode, well, I'll be putting the table for the CNC together, and then I'm gonna assemble the CNC, and things will get interesting. So that is it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, if you want your chance to uh, to possibly win a 100 pound voucher from Uznest, and Uznest have a lot of awesome stuff on their shop, you might want to check them out. Um, guess the name of the new channel. It's, I remember, three words. One of them is make, in whole, in part, or whichever. Um, it will not include the word Joe, it will not include the word 3D, and I'm quite sure I've dropped a few more hints, which um, you guys probably won't notice. But yeah, leave a comment, take a guess. You can take as many guesses as you like. The first person or the first two people that will guess or come as close as possible to guessing the name will win the sale of a voucher. I will have the same competition running parallel to my Patreons because they're, they're awesome people and it's because thanks to them that I've been able to save up and you know invest in new business and yeah i want to thank them with with all my heart thank you guys for watching stay awesome and as always happy making guys